Consider the complete combustion of methane, and there is CH4 is methane, with 100% theoretical oxygen, just pure oxygen and just the right amount of oxygen. Not too much, not too little. Obtain a balanced equation for the reaction. So what we do is we start with our fuel. Just always start with a fuel. That's a recommendation. Put CH4. And then you're going to have some oxygen. You don't know how much. You don't know how much. But you're always going to start with one of the fuel. Don't change it. Leave a one here. And if you're tempted to change it, slap yourself and don't change it, right? Just don't change the coefficient, the stoichiometric coefficient in front of the fuel. You'll be tempted. Just leave it alone. Recommendation number one. Then you have an unknown coefficient in front of the oxygen. We have pure oxygen, so there's no nitrogen coming along. And it goes to, you have to know what it goes to. You have to be told. So if you say, I need to memorize something, you need to know that the carbon and the hydrocarbon fuel goes to CO2. Professor, why doesn't it go to CO? Because CO is still combustible. Why doesn't it go to CO3? Don't ask me, go ask the chemistry. <laughs> right? It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't pair up that way. The valence electrons aren't set up that way. So it goes to CO2, right? And then... Then you have, it goes to hydrogen in the fuel, the hydrocarbon fuel, carbon-hydrogen fuel, goes to water. Why doesn't it go to HO? Again, the same discussion. Why doesn't it go to H3OC? Well, again, it's, this, is, it, this is the base. It goes, it likes, the world likes to go the, into that direction. It likes to go to CO2. It's real stable, low energy, a lot of heat release, and it likes to go to water vapor. All right, but those are memorizations. How much and how much you need to determine. How much you need to determine. So really, to balance, to obtain a balanced reaction equation, you need to do those coefficients. That was recommendation number one. Leave a coefficient of one in front of the fuel. Recommendation number two is balance the carbon first. Do the carbon balance. So you say to yourself, how many carbons do I have on the left-hand side? One. How many do I need on the right-hand side? To be balanced, I need one over there. The only place I can get it is the C and the CO2. I can now determine the stoichiometric coefficient in front of CO2. Let's fix it. Now, once you have those two coefficients determined, don't go changing them. If you're tempted to change them, don't do it, right? Those are done. The next step, this is step two, this is step three, is what? Balance the hydrogen second. So this was the first thing to do. And now the second is to balance the hydrogen. Let's take a look. How many hydrogens on the left-hand side? Four. Four of them. How many waters do I need to get four hydrogens on the right-hand side? Two. Don't change the coefficient in front of you. You're done. The last is balance what? balance the oxygen. So we come in here with the oxygen and you say, okay, how many do I have? And it's almost always backwards. These were forwards and forwards. So the oxygen balance, you, you count up how many is on the right-hand side. Can you see how many are on the right-hand side? You have, and go slow when you first do this. It's two, it's one times two plus two times one. See that? So how many is that on the right-hand side? Four. I need four over there. I always look to see if there's any oxygen with the fuel. Sometimes there is. Almost always there's not. Sometimes there is. 
professor, on an exam, would you give me a hydrocarbon fuel that has a little oxygen in it? Yes. Yes, which means you have to be on your toes. But in this case, there's no oxygen with the fuel. So the only source of oxygen is the O2. So I like to put a 4 over 2 right here. Somebody says, come on. I know that. I can do that math in my head. 4 over 2 is 2. True? That's fine. If you want to put 2 here, go for it. So now we are balanced. These are the stoichiometric coefficients. Go ahead and try to remember these steps. Somebody says, Professor, I remember in chemistry we had the coefficient A, the coefficient B, the coefficient C. And now we write our, chem our balance equations. We say our carbon balance equation is going to be 1 plus 0 times A is equal to 2B plus 0 times C. True? Well, guess what that just did? <laughs> you, just, you just solve for B. And then you, you write a, a hydrogen balance equation. And you say uh, 4 times 1 plus 0 times A is equal to uh, hydrogen balance uh, 0 times B plus uh, 2 times C, right? Guess what you just said? You just solve for C. Any, does that resonate with you? A, B, C, D, and the coefficients. You set up these algebraic equations. A lot of times they go really easy. Sometimes they don't. Okay. Now, what is, in this problem, for answer for part B, what is determine the mole fraction of water vapor, H2O, in the products? Well, I have to get back to where I was. Sorry, I threw away the answer there. What did we have? We had two here, we had one here, and we had two there. True? Okay. So, what's the answer for part B? What is the mole fraction of H2O in the products? These are the products. So Y of H2O is going to be the number of moles of H2O divided by the number of moles of products. We have two moles of H2O and how many moles of products? So Y of H2O is 0 0.667. It's a very high mole fraction of water vapor. True? And this is spanking hot. If it starts to cool off, you know what's going to happen that it's going to do out. It'll condense out. But that's for another day. If 90% of the methane is combusted, obtain a balanced reaction. So now go and change things. Change things. 90% of the methane is combusted. What does that mean? Okay, um, <clears throat> let's do it this way. I'm going to try and tuck it in right down here. So we're going to have one mole of fuel with a CH4, and we're going to have the same amount of oxygen going along, but this time, instead of having complete combustion, we have incomplete combustion. We have incomplete combustion where only 90% of the methane is combusted. True? So we're going to have uh, how many CO2s and how many H2Os and then I think we're going to have some CH4s left over and I think we're going to have some O2s left over. True? So I have unknown, 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 unknown. But, but I could have had 100% complete combustion, but this time, the new problem, it says we only have 90% of the methane being combusted. So don't change the 1 in front of the CH4. Don't change the 2 in front of the, H, uh, in front of the O2. Okay. Well, there's a relatively easy way of doing this, and that is... I consider that 0.1 didn't get combusted of what I have. So I just bring over 10% of what was in the reactants and just throw it over on the product side. Does that make sense? You see that? And then I think, you know what? It would have loved to go to 
carbon dioxide and water vapor in the right proportion. And so 90% did. And now it's balanced. Does that make sense? Do a check. Do a carbon balance. Does the carbon balance? Let's do the left-hand side and then ask ourselves, is it equal to the right-hand side? If we look on the left-hand side, there's only one. So what about over here? Well, we have 0.9 times 1 plus 0.1 times 1. Does that balance? Yes, yes, yes. And then do a hydrogen balance. Left-hand side, we have 4. Right-hand side, we have 0.9 times 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 0.1 times 4. Does that balance? Yes, it does. So triple check yourself. At, you know, Okay? Now that we have a new uh, balance reaction equation, Determine the mole fraction of the H2O in the products. So if I do that, I'm going to say, well, I need the mole fraction of H2O. It's going to be the number of moles of H2O and the number of moles of the products. True. How many moles of H2O do I have? 2 times 0.9. Do I have 2 times 0.9? And then I have 0.9. 9 times 1 plus 2 plus 0.1 times 1 plus 2. Is that a, a good way to write the number of moles total of the, of the products? Thumbs up if you agree. Are you following me? And so then you solve for this, and you'll get an answer. It's uh, uh, 60%. So it dropped. From two-thirds, 66.7% to 60%.